So today's video, um, I'm gonna give you five coping skills that you can use to try managing your anxiety during this really hard time that we're going through. Um, we all know 2020 has not been a piece of cake. I mean, it has hit us with one thing after the other after the other. And I'm a mental health therapist. I'm supposed to be trained for this. I went to school for this. And what, if somebody last year would have told me that half of the things going on now were going to happen back in 19, I would have been like, no, that, that sounds like some apocalyptic. But we're going through it. And we need to deal with it. Um, so today's video is going to be about managing your anxiety during this time. Um, I've heard a few times in the past week um, how, how, how a lot of people wish they were back in 2000, 2015, 2000, like maybe 05, 2005, um, because things were better back then, but no. They were not better. Let's be honest. This did not start in 2016, 2017. That's when the social media finally picked up and let us see up front and center what's been going on for decades. Um, so no, I am actually glad that it's 2020 and people are seeing this. It's more in your face now. You can't ignore it because it hasn't happened to you. It hasn't happened to your daughter. Oh, God forbid to your sons because you have to put yourself in their shoes those who think it will never happen to them one day will come to you there is a change that needs to come from within like the way we are uh, raising our children the way we we talk to others in front of them i think this generation is the only hope is in the little one let's think of that let this let's give a voice to those who lost theirs the reason I came up with this video is because I have so many clients who, who have told me about their experience with racism and how they are, um, they're having a hard time dealing with this. Some of them even said, I can't believe even having you as a therapist, it's still not making this any, any easier. So I can't imagine how it will be for people who do not have a therapist. Um, so that's why I'm bringing you guys this video. Here's a spike of the skills that you can practice to help you decrease your anxiety. Number one, you can journal, okay? You can put all of those feelings um, that you're going through right now into words. Um, what that's gonna do is it's gonna create an outlet. I mean, we're going through a moment where we all feel angry, we all feel frustrated, we all feel um, hopeless, some people feel helpless. And writing it down will be a great way to, to deal with it, to help it process it, okay? If you don't feel comfortable journaling because you might you might be afraid that somebody's gonna read it, you can also write it down and then burn it or then um, rip it off, you know, destroy it. As long as those feelings are coming out and you don't stay with them. Get those feelings out, put them on paper, cross them, and then let them go. Number two, make sure you're eating and exercising, okay? I'm not saying that you have to go and run a marathon or that you have to um, start lifting weights, but what you can do is, you know, just take a walk, um, listen to, while you're taking a walk, listen to to some music. Um, make sure that you're eating good foods and drinking water so your body's able to handle all the stress that it's that your mind is putting it through. Mental health and physical health are so closely connected and sometimes we fail to see that. So make sure that you're taking care of your physical health while our mental health gets in check. Because, yes. Number three, listen to music, okay? Listen to the music that you need to listen to so you can express those feelings. Um, if you need to listen to angry music, listen to angry music if you need to listen to sad music listen to sad music again as long as those feelings are being processed and put out there okay don't let them stay in because we are like a pressure cooker if all we get is heat heat is stress stress and these are stressful situations if we don't let the steam out is we're gonna explode okay so whatever you have to do do it 
this is about you and your mental health four make sure you're setting your boundaries between you and social media i am not by any means telling you to give up social media don't don't watch the videos because you need to to stay informed on what's going on okay but if you come um through a video that it's too violent and you feel that that might trigger something in you please keep scrolling okay by no means i'm telling you to you know just ignore everything that's going on because it's impossible um and what it's going on it needs to be seen but it cannot be at, at the cost of your mental health in a specific okay so feel free to share what you need to share what you would like to share um feel free to you know keep yourself informed so limit social media the be at your best ability let's say that if you as soon as you feel something triggering in you that it's it's not gonna make you go and fight for change but it's gonna make you calm down the spiral you need to stop it number five let's be honest you are an amazing human being let's call it that you are an amazing human being and you probably want to to create change in what's going on you want to have a voice please do um do the best you can at your best capability always um putting yourself first when it comes to your mental health and physical health why there's a reason why when a plane is coming down they ask you to put the mask first and then help you people around that is because if you are if you go above and above and beyond be if you go beyond your capabilities you might end up getting yourself sick um mentally or physically okay so make sure that you're taking care of yourself and you know fight for change yes at your best capability um trust me there's someone out there who needs you to be a strong maybe it's a child maybe it's your partner maybe it's a friend maybe, it, maybe it's your significant other and they also need you here and it's it's hard <laughs> To, to see it that way when all of this is going on and I'm telling you to take care of yourself but that's when you create change, okay? The stronger you are, the more you can fight. Just continue to protect yourself physically and mentally while, you, um, while we all fight this battle. I hope you guys found this helpful. Please remember those five coping skills. You can do them every day pretty much if you wanted to. Um, you don't have to wait until you're anxious. It's actually better if you are proactive and you start using them on a daily basis. Make it part of your routine. Um, so when they, when, when the day comes that you actually need to, to, you know, when you find yourself being so anxious that you don't know what to do with yourself, they just come naturally to you. Please practice this, and I hope it was helpful to you guys. Um, I hope we can get through all of this together and. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. The black community is hurt. Um, the actions that I see on TV are the actions that I see on people with trauma. And they've been going to a traumatic experience for the past 300 years. Thanks. Um, Christopher Columbus, that's what you call him, right? Colom. The, the Cristobal Colom. Let them heal. Let us heal as a community. Um, hopefully, change to happen. Hopefully, change does happen. Um, not very hopeful for this generation, but let's try for the next one so they don't have to go through what people have been going through for the past two, three hundred years. Okay. <sighs> video, video.